Hello friends, I am Dr. Vikran Shaiva. So let's see the practical application based on ADO.NET connectivity. If you are going for the practical session, let's see the theoretical part about it. So what is an ADO.NET? So ADO.NET consists of managed classes that allows .NET application to connect to the data sources. So see the ADO.NET architecture, the .NET application interacts with the data sources with the help of providers. So if I am using an SQL Server database, I need to have their SQL Server .NET provider. What exactly the data provider is? So data providers are just like a bridge between your application and the data sources. It's a set of ADO.NET classes that allows you to access specific databases, to execute SQL commands and retrieve data. These are some namespaces that we can use for connecting to your data sources. So we can have system.data, system.data.common, system.data.oledb. For SQL Server, you can have a SQL client. For Oracle, you can have a rectal client and many more. So namespaces are nothing but these are the logical grouping of your classes. So before connecting to the databases, we need to just see what are the different objects that we need to use for connecting to the data sources. For example, if I have to establish a connection to the databases, I need to have a connection object. Similarly, if I have to execute some SQL commands or stored procedure, I need to have a command object. Similarly, if I want to access some data from the databases or if I want to retrieve some data from the databases, so I need to have a data reader object which provides you a fast read only forward only mechanism. Now if I have to connect with the data sources also I need to I can use a data adapter object which performs basically two tasks. First it will help you to fill a data set which is a disconnected collection of tables and relationship. And secondly, you can use it to apply changes to a data source according to the modifications you have made in a specific data set. So let's continue with the practical. So the practical is based on a database connectivity where we need to display the records from the database onto a grid view control. Grid view control is one of the standard control available in .NET to display the data in the format of rows and columns. So let's create an application. So we'll give this as a practical number 6. Create an empty application. Now, before going for this particular application, let's create a table. Before that, you can create database, and later on, we'll create a procedure where we can write a select query. So you can provide a server name as dot slash SQL Express now connect. Now here you can create a database. There are so many databases available here. If you just right click and create a new database. Let's create the database name as MCA DB and click OK. So MC table is inherited. Now here you can create some table. For example, let's create a table for an employee. So we need to have employee ID. Let's create a type. Let's take as numeric. Name. 
in varchar so let's take only two columns set it as primary key and save the table with the name employee so here table have been created now let's add some record into this tables just click here refresh see this table is available now add some record into it so here i'm adding some record and just execute this so you see the records are also available the next step is we need to have one stored procedure which will fetch the record from this particular table so come to this programmability stored procedure right click it and new stored procedure so remove this template and write the procedure create procedure let's say sp fetch employee as we can select star from employee and end let's execute this procedure the command is executed successfully and the next step is coming back to your dotnet environment where we have already added an application and let's create a new web form or a web page just add a new web form let's give the name of for this web form as home so it will see a home.aspx will be added Now on this home dot spx, we have to take a grid view control. So in the toolbox, search for the grid view control. So we'll find this grid view here in the, under the data. So just click it. So grid view control has been added. Now the next step is let's fetch the data in a grid view on the page load event of this page. So coming to us.cs file here the steps that we need to follow is just import the namespaces system.data system.data dot sql client which is for sql server so by using these two namespaces we are going to extract some of the objects and connection classes that are required to fetch data from the databases so this sql client will consist of a connectivity or you can say these are the namespaces which will, which will consist of all the connection classes command classes and all the related classes that are available for SQL Server database connectivity. Now let's write a particular, just initially first declare all the objects, let's say connection can be used for establishing the connection. Then SQL data adapter. data set and we also require SQL command so here initially we have declared all these objects connection data adapter data set and SQL command now the next step is we will just create a function public void get connection Will be a common function which will initialize the connection object new SQL connection
here we need to provide a connection string that will get it from tools connect to database just provide the server name as that slash SQL Express and here select the database name which is my MCDB put the test connection click OK you see here in the data connections this is added and we'll find here this connection string just copy this and paste it here so and put one more slash for this connection string so here you have used this get connection the next step is write a function to display employees now just write the try catch block so that it will handle the exceptions while execution time if any error comes you can display that error by using response dot write x dot message and try just establish the connection by calling the get connection and before this step just initialize the command objects command object that is skill command data set and just follow the steps here and establish the connection open the connection set the connection or assign the connection to the command object then command type that we have to use for the stored procedure so here we need to select stored procedure then command text will be procedure name this is sp fetch procedure name let's see here sp fetch employ can use this procedure name as it is next step is initialize data adapter new sql data adapter and and pass on the command object then we need to use a method of data adapter that is a fill fill this with the data set then close the connection and last step is we need to just attach this data set with the grid view control so we have a grid view control object dot data source equals to ds dot tables and provide the index number zero now grid view one dot data bind will be for binding the data set with your grid view control so let's execute this application before is executing we need to call this method on a load page load event so display employee so i'm calling this method on a page load let's execute this page
So we'll find the data from the database. Thank you.